Mm. All right, all right, all right. It's Kevin Garcia, a.k.a. the Puerto Rican Kid KG, and we back at it with the voice of Philly boxing. My guy, appreciate mm -hmm. you coming back on, Greg Hackett. How you feeling? I'm good, man. Chilling, just getting ready for this uh, celebrity match show they got tonight. Yeah. Who, who you here with? Hank Let the Lundy. fans know. They got Hank Lundy tonight. I don't even know who he's fighting. Will Stronghold. Yeah, I never heard of him. How <laughs> you think this fight going to go? I don't know. Hank better whoop his ass. I know that. That's <laughs> yeah. all I know. Can't afford to lose, right? Right. We just going to go ahead and have fun, though. You know what I mean? Do what we got to do. Fans pay their money. You know what I mean? We'll give them a show. That's all. For sure. And Hank got a fight coming up. Just make sure we let the fans know. Uh, November. Yeah. November 2nd, Bryce Mills, Verona, New York, Turner Stone. Yep. Say less, say less. I know they'll be on the lookout for that, especially the Philly fans. For sure. But, you know, if I have you here, I got to do it, man. We got to talk Philly boxing, right? For sure. That's uh, hot and popping right now. Last time I saw you, we, we spoke about some of these same topics. But, obviously, from the perspective of the fights not having been made, one of them, and right. two not having happened yet. Right. And uh, we'll start with the first one. So, Danny Garcia, what do you think about that fight with Laura, his performance? And, you know, what do you think Danny does next? I mean, I, I kind of saw it early that it was a mental thing. I mean, Danny just looked like he didn't want to be there. I don't know. I don't know what went on. I don't know what happened. I don't know why he felt that way. You know what I mean? But it just looked like he couldn't really catch his rhythm, pick up t uh, Laura's timing. You know what I mean? He just looked like he was in a space where he really didn't want to be there. I mean, that, those things have happened in the past. Again, I don't understand why it happened to Danny, but, you know what I mean? I just wish him the best moving forward. What does he do moving forward, though? Does he? Do you think Danny should obviously maybe if he continues fighting go down in weight, or is it is Danny done? Does he retire? No, it's like the mind, body, and soul got to connect. You know what I mean? The body and the mind can say yeah, but then the soul not there. You know what I mean? Then the soul and the mind can say yeah, but the body not there. I mean, those three things got to connect. If they're not connected, then I say stay out of the ring. But if you never know with boxing, you know you go home, might feel bad, might watch the fight. Fire might get lit up under him. He might come back and fight again, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, obviously we wish Danny nothing but the best. So a question for you. If he were to retire, has what Danny, um, the things he's already accomplished, is it enough for you to consider him, in your personal opinion, Hall of Fame worthy? I mean, Sylvester Stallone got in there based off a movie, so Danny's definitely did enough. You know what I mean, boxing. I'm dead serious about that. So Danny, you know what I mean, he, he, his resume is a nice resume. Fought a lot of great fighters. He's a great fighter. Why not? There you go. You heard it from Greg yourself. Okay, um, Greg, switching gears a little bit. Different Philly fighter. Cool boy, Steph. So, yeah. Steph, uh, Fulton, Scooter. Yeah. You know, he had a tough fight. What would you think about it? Um, I thought it was a real close fight, real good fight. But the main thing I was looking for was to see where his mind and his spirit was. You know what I mean? He was excited to be back in the ring. He was happy that he got through the fight and, and pulled it off. Um... And I think we see a better cool boy moving forward. I think it was just a confidence thing. After going to Japan and losing and losing the way he did, I think he felt a little down on himself. You know what I mean? And um, after going back and seeing he could do it again, getting a win, you know what I mean? I think he feel a little better. But, you, of course, there's things to work on. It's always going to be things to work on. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I think I think there's some good names at 26. So, uh -huh. A lot of good fights. So. Guys, he's beat before, like we said last time we spoke, right? Yeah, for champs, sure. Champs there that he's beat And before. guys he haven't fought, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You, you know, and it, it leads me to a, a different thought, like, as far as his path forward. Because last time I spoke to you, I said, you know, does he fight if he wins this fight, which he ended up, you know, winning, of course. Mm -hmm. Does he fight a guy like Leo, who he already beat, or the the uh, the other gentleman, that I, his name is not coming right away, but I know there's another champ at 126 that he beat as well. Yeah. So, you know, one of those two guys. Um, but last night I was in New York and Shushu, Bruce Carrington, he had a tough fight. He's at yeah. 126. Now you have Steph there. Um, I think Shushu wants to prove himself and Steph is obviously, uh, you know, wanting to get back to, you know, being a champion. Yeah. Do you think that's a good fight? Like Shushu versus Steph? Not, not yet. Not Too yet. early for, for Shushu? For Shushu because, only because, listen, man, Shushu is of age, but he's not of experience. Um, when you turn pro, man, it's a different ball game. Uh, the tempo changes, you know what I mean? The punches change. Everything changes. It's not the same. The distance change. You, you don't have no hair gear on no more. You're not scoring punches anymore. You're trying to hurt the guy real bad. Not saying amateurs aren't trying to hurt, but shoot you right now is a more accomplished amateur than he is a professional. I say stay away from them cool boys and stay away from the figure rollers and the inuas and stuff like that and just keep doing what you're doing. Work your way up. Now, keep people kind of badgering him about his age, but... I, if I was him, I wouldn't pay that no mind. I would just, you know what I mean, worry about what I need to work on and where I'm going, you know what I mean? But also, I was thinking about something, too. Um, 126 might be a little draining for him, for Shushu. 
it might be 130 pounder. You know what I mean? He might be killing himself to make 26, and, it's, and it might be unnecessary because it's, it could be taken away from his punch. You know what I mean? So I think he should really go up to 30. But as far as fighting like a cool boy and all that, leave them guys alone. It's a different league. It's a different tempo. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, got you. Okay, uh, last Philly guy I'd like to talk to you about really quick, Boots. So, yeah. you know, we were contemplating what's his next fight be, and, you know, yeah. the dust is settled. His next fight is going to be a former opponent, yeah. um, mandatory challenger, Karen Chukazi, and I hope I got his last name right. It's a tough one. Yeah. But, you know, they fought before. Boots, you know, he got some flack for not having the most impressive performance against this guy. Right. Um, is it important in this rematch uh, for him to look impressive? Does he have to win emphatically? I mean, yeah, because... That's that's the only thing that was missing from the last time they fought. Boots ain't get to really wipe him up. Um, of course, that's going to be the mission, but I think he'll approach it differently this fight. He won't. I think he was a little bit younger when he fought Karen the first time. He was, and, he, and it was his first time being on a really big card. I mean, when you fight on the undercard, Tank Davis, those is really huge shoes to fill. You feel me? Uh -huh. So he, I felt like he felt a lot of pressure on him to, to go out there and perform. And not just perform, but get a knockout, chasing it. Now he know a little better. You know what I mean, um, even though we what we three fights away from that fight, mm -hmm. still been some time, and he learned a lot about himself. He learned about the game. You know what I mean? So I could see him slowing it down this time, breaking Karen down, and getting him out probably six, seven rounds, something like that. What's up, champ? What's up, man? You know I mean, like six, seven rounds, breaking him up, stopping him. You know what I mean? Um, it's. It's crazy because a lot of people don't want to see it, but it's still unfinished business there. It's it's the same thing with Tank and uh, Pitbull. Pitbull Cruz, the same way. He was the last one to take him the distance. You know what I mean? Um, same for Boots. But this time, he's looking to cut him short. And guess what? Let's be honest. Brian Norman Jr., Sr., they didn't want the fight. Barrios didn't even look Boots' way. Standing on this, kept his mouth shut. Who else is he supposed to fight? Everybody that he's going to fight, they're going to say, oh, they're not on, on his level, they this and that. He should go to 54. The man want what he want at 47, and we got to go through Karen to do it. So there's what it is. Great breakdown. Great breakdown. Yeah, I mean, the fight happens November 9th, Philadelphia, Wells Fargo Center. So I'm sure it'll be a great fight. I'll be there. I'm yeah, sure you'll be there. For sure. And uh, hopefully Boots is able to show out the way he wants to. Yeah. All right.